Justin wasn't getting to Justin when he was tweeting, he started to attack the family. My family is not a stranger to things like this, but we know that it isn't about us. And we know that people, what they don't understand, they hate. Not all the time, but as a rule. So instead of hating, let's ask questions. Let's ask questions if you see something on social media and you don't understand, instead of saying, oh, I wish you would just jump off a bridge. Say, dude, why are you doing that? Maybe you'll get the answer and you'll understand. Hate is a horrible, horrible feeling. When we're born, we don't know how to hate. That is a learned behavior. We are taught how to not hate. Not hating. Talking about so if we can learn how to help we learn how to hate, we can absolutely retrain our brain. And we can teach ourselves how to love and embrace each other. I mean hugs. Hugs are the big thing. Where are my huggers? Did I lose my huggers? Hello? Where did they go?
what I typed and when, you know, the way I left that comment. I get angry sometimes when I see people doing that. And I should have waited out. I should have waited for your answer on your cake when I asked if you were really his on. I'm so, so sorry. Now for that, I was so respectful of this woman because she not only admitted she was wrong, she made videos <laughs> upon videos. And every time she finds a student or a, a young person who is searching, she sends them my way just for somebody to talk. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. I took a hater and I made her into a friend. That's important. And that's what we need to do. We need to show the world that there's, there's no room for hate. Only love and compassion towards our fellow man. Okay, so now that I've got my haters out of the way, because every day I wake up and there's another one. Once again on social media, number one, we don't get any information. Number two, block and report them. Then they're gone. And ask your friends to do the same, then they're gone. If they talk about you, you don't know. And honestly, most of, the, most of the, the haters out there don't deserve a response. The things they say are just so ludicrous, I kind of giggle. But, it's the people who take it personally, and you need to not. If someone goes on there and says, ew, that was the ugliest dress I've ever seen, I can't believe you wore that today. That's their opinion. Don't worry. What, their words don't mean anything. They don't define you. What people say about you, don't it doesn't define you. What defines you is the way that you act, the way that you conduct yourself, the way that you show the world that you're willing to accept and embrace change and difference. That is so very, very important. So I started uh, to write out a speech, but I didn't want this to be about a speech. I wanted this to be just a chat. Just a chat to, um, to know to learn more about you and about what your plans are. How many people are on social media? How many people have experienced haters? Wow. Wow. How many people watch them? How many people post that they were the haters? Who's the ones that are posting nasty stuff? That's cool. That was a trick question, but good for you. And I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that you are being exposed to the hate. You don't deserve it. I don't know you personally, but I know you don't deserve it because no one does. So, on behalf of all the bullies out there, I want to apologize. But I also want to remind you that it's really easy to turn from the victim into a bully. I know I did it. I was bullied so bad when I was, a, when I was in grade seven. I did school for a very long time until the, my parents and the authorities found out. I was sent a letter and it was deposited into my locker. And it was signed by, I went to a very small school, I believe there was 400 in my school. And this letter basically said that I wasn't wanted at the school and that I was stupid and that I was ugly and you know, you know how the, how the hate letters go. And it was signed by everybody in the school. I was like, ha, ah, I am useless. Obviously, nobody wants me around. Till one day, and I don't know why, the most popular girl in the school, the top one, you know? Well, she was walking down the hall. And I approached her. And I said, hey, I, I know you hate me. I just need to know why. And she looked at me and she goes, I don't hate you. Well, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I proceeded to pull this letter out, which of course I carried it in my back pocket because I needed to hear those horrible words and I needed to read them over and over again. Not. And when she read this, she said, I don't know what's going on here, Candy, but I know these people and nobody signed this. I felt vindicated and scared. So what I did was I went to the bully and I went, hey, so I'm dumb. let's call her Rose. Hey, Rose. Um, I was just talking to uh, her back there, and she said she has nothing to do with this letter. What are you talking about? I said, what do you mean what am I talking about? <coughs> this letter that you slipped in my, my locker that you're the first person to sign was signed by the whole school. 
No, it wasn't. It was signed by you and only you. And how dare you put me through that? How dare you? And I was so angry. I became a bully. And I started treating people badly. And I didn't even realize I was doing it. I thought I was standing up for myself. But there's a fine line between standing up for yourself and just being mean. And I am so happy that someone pointed that out to me. I could not have gone through my whole life being a bully. I couldn't, my heart couldn't take that. I have so much love in my heart to give, and I believe that that's why I'm here. I believe I'm here to share it. And I want to share it with you. And I want you to understand something. I need you to understand that the choices that you're making right now, via social media or whatever it is, these choices will affect the rest of your lives. Um, you post something on social media, it doesn't go away. You can delete it, but that doesn't mean it goes away. Ten years down the line, someone screenshotted that and saved that and put that in their arsenal for whatever, and it will come back and haunt you. So, be very mindful what you post, because it will come back. It will come back and haunt you, I promise. You have to understand something. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be critical. But when I look out in the audience, I see the future of Canada. You are the future of Canada. Your decisions are going to affect my life. You're going to be the politicians, the actors, the singers, the bank tellers. You, you are our future. And we're asking you to please make the right decisions. To please prepare yourself. Thanks so much, Aunt Candy. So much.